Hi everybody! This is Teacher Jen again. So for today's video, we will talk or we will discuss about on how to solve a word problem applying the POYAS method. So I want to see your hands if you are familiar with the words POYAS method. Okay, I love that majority of the class are familiar with the POYAS method. So the question is, what comes in your mind when you hear the word Polyas method? Polyas prescription for solving problems consists of four steps that use the three R's of problem solving. Request, response, result, and a verification of the result. Polyas method has four steps. Step 1. Understand the problem. Step 2. Devise a plan or translate. Step 3. Carry out the plan or solve. Step 4. Look back or check and interpret. To sum it all, Polya created his famous four-step process for problem solving, which is used all over to aid people in problem solving. The following are the steps. Understand the problem. Devise a plan. Carry out the plan. Look back. The problem goes like this. Phil is Tom's father. Phil is 35 years old. Three years ago, Phil was four times as old as his son. How old is Tom now? By applying the Polya's first method, it is to understand the problem. Therefore, we let T as the age of Tom three years ago. Step 2. It deals about device, a plan, or translate. So we need to make an equation that symbolize their age three years ago. So t minus 3 is Tom age three years ago. 4 times the quantity of t minus 3 is Phil age three years ago. And the last one, 32, is the exact age of Phil three years ago. Our third step in Folia's method is to carry out the plan or solve. Therefore, we need to solve the following. Since 32 is the exact age of Phil three years ago, therefore, we write the equation of his age three years ago. So that is 4 times the quantity of t minus 3. Then, since we all know that 32 and 4 both sides are divisible by 4 then we divide it by 4 therefore 32 divided by 4 the result is 8 and 4 is divisible by 4 on the right term therefore the remaining is the 8 equals to t minus 3 since t minus 3 is the remaining term so in order for us to get the value to get the exact value of t we need to add both sides by positive 3 in order for us to cancel unlike terms and the remaining one will be the 8 plus 3 equals to t then we add 8 plus 3 then the result is 11 therefore the age of tom is 11 so the folias method four step talks about the look back or to check and interpret our answer so in order for us to check if our answer is correct, especially to the age of Tom, then it is time for us to recheck the following. So we let T is 11 or the value of T is 11. Then we substitute T to the fill age equation 3 years ago. Then 32 equals 4, the value of T, which is 11. Then we will subtract 11 minus 3 since it is inside in the parenthesis. Then for 11 minus 3, the result is 8. 4 multiplied by 8, the result is 32. So, as you can see, we have the same answer both sides. Our answer is correct. And we can conclude that the age of them is 11. Before I end my discussion today, I want you to leave this one. Everything happens at one step at a time. Therefore, do not be rushed. Everything 
takes time. Just always trust the process. Always remember this one, that the first step in solving a problem is to recognize that it does not exist. Once again, this is Teacher Jen saying that if you are new to my channel, just don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, and of course, press the notification bell for more updates for my upcoming videos. Goodbye! Thank you for watching!